and we're back. Ready to, uh, we've changed our gear lube, we've changed our water pump impeller, we're going to put our lower unit back onto, uh, onto our outboard. First thing we do, grease. Grease our bolts. Um, may as well give another shameless plug for uh, Quicksilver 24C grease. That's the stuff I use. Um, you can get that at Canada Wide Marine. The link's down below the video here. Grease your threads. If you want to get those bolts out again in a saltwater boat, you want to put grease on them. Don't use never sees if you watched the video just before this. And any of my other videos, don't use never sees. Okay. The other thing we do is grease our drive shaft splines. Uh, we use uh, Quicksilver, I think it's called Extreme Grease for this. It's a high pressure grease for uh, specifically for drive shaft splines. Now these are uh, these are a little bit fiddly to get the uh, the shift linkage to line up here. So excuse me if I block the camera while I do this, but I'll do the best I can to make it tolerable for you. Slide that up and in. You want to make sure that you can push your lower unit up all the way by hand. If you can't push it all the way up by hand, something up the top is binding. Don't pull it up with your bolts. You will do some very serious damage if you do that. We're going to get these bolts started in here. in good shape. This poor little thing does not spend much time in salt water so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, there's a water pump pickup underneath here. Um, quick look at that, make sure it's not blocked up but this thing spends so little time actually being used it's just fine. And now we just need to hook up our linkage there. This is always a little fiddly. I'll try and stay out of the way of the camera a bit too. But... Um, my bar is turned. So. If I can get, I can get that right out of there. Okay. Sure we're in neutral so this clamp in here is uh, there's two rods that run past each other the lower rod and the upper rod and there's a clamp that clamps over the two of them so I was just fiddling there to get them uh, lined up over each other so they're over both rods now now we need this is for the adjustment to make sure our shift works properly we make sure that the, uh, the bottom is in neutral which it is not oh. Try to turn that and it's engaged in gear. So, that 
tells me, looking at the linkage in there, I can see that the shaft actually has to move up. It got pushed down at some point, probably when I was putting it together there. Okay, so now we're in neutral there. Spins neutral there, and our shift linkage up on the side. Just pan up like that. And our shift lever up on the side is in neutral. So now I can tighten the bolt in there. There's a bolt in there on our clamp that I will tighten up. Still in neutral at the bottom, still in neutral at the top, and shift it into forward, and it clunks into gear, can't turn it. Back into neutral, and we can turn it at the bottom, into reverse, and it clunks into gear. So, my shift linkage is adjusted correctly. Last piece of this puzzle is uh, I like to put a little bit of grease on the, on the lip there. That just helps it work its way in there. Makes it easier to take out next time too. One last piece of this puzzle. Move the camera a bit. Come down. Let's just wind you down a bit. I'm gonna put our propeller back on. Thrust washer is still on the shaft there. Uh, so we just need to grease our splines. You always want to grease your splines if you want to get your propeller off again. The propeller tends to work on there a fair bit and uh, it will pump the grease out pretty quickly. And uh, then you start getting salt water and sand and grudge and grunge in there. Then you can't get your propeller off. So grease your propeller shaft splines every year. This service that we've just undertaken here, it should be done every year as well. Washer on the back and a nut. Snug that up. Propellers do not have to be incredibly tight. They just have to stay on there. Make a little split pin, cotter pin. These small propellers are a little bit tight to get the cotter pin in, but you can do this. And cut the excess off. And that's that. Lower units all serviced up. We replaced the water pump and propeller, we changed our gear lube, we greased our drive shaft splines, and we greased our propeller shaft splines. All of that should be done every year. The water pump and propeller should be inspected every year. It doesn't necessarily need to be changed. Um, a machine like this on a kicker, small motor like this, uh, probably change it every three years if it only gets used occasionally, uh, but definitely inspect it every year. Uh, if it's your own motor that you're servicing yourself, take your lower unit off at the end of the season, take your water pump and propeller out, leave it out for the, season, for the off season and uh, you'll get a lot more life out of it. So, um, that's that for this part. Thanks for watching.